Well, boys, it is another day back out here at Elevated AF, and uh, today we are selling everything. And by everything, I mean everything in the showroom. It's all going today. We got a guy out of state that uh, ended up purchasing, I think, like two or three trucks, both of the any levels for sure. He wanted both of them, so uh, these ones are going to get loaded up on a trailer and taken out of here. We have a guy that I think is coming to look at the uh, Mega Cab here, and I think he wants to trade another Mega Cab for it, so... We'll see how that goes. This should be pretty cool. You know what else is pretty cool? The animation when you hit the like button. You should check it out. Anyway, the other day I went and picked up a brand new trailer as if we need any more. What we've got. One, two, three, four. This is number five now. Yeah, we don't need any more, but I got another one. It's a bit of a lower one. Should be nicer for hauling rigs. We've got a big truck show in Texas coming up here. I believe it's called uh, LST or something like that. Lone Star Truck, something or another. Big truck show up in Texas. We're going to be taking a couple things up to that. Uh, the only builds that aren't going this week are uh, the second gens and a couple of the personal haul trucks for the shop here. Those are going to be staying along with this thing. I, I don't even know how to describe this thing still. All right, world's first Chevy any level. It's out of here. I hate to sell this truck. This is uh, a one of a kind build. No one's done this one before and for good reason, but uh, it's out of here as of today. Anyways, for this big Lone Star Throwdown show that's coming up here in Texas, we're gonna try knock out one more build for it. Hopefully before we leave, but it's coming up here in about a week, so or about two weeks, something like that. We don't have a lot of time, but the guys seem to be okay with uh, pushing out builds, so we might be able to get something done. Man, not one Chevy, but two this week, and they're both any levels, something that an any level is not supposed to be on. Flipping Chevy. We're just going to lower down the truck here just so everything's good. Don't need that lifted up for the drive, and this truck's wide. Any wider, and we'd have to put some uh, railings on the side. But I think we're good. A truck driver's gonna get out of here, and uh, that's two more gone. All right, so dude with the mega cab just pulled up here. Looks like a nice blacked out one. Oh, six or oh, seven. I guess he wants to trade for this thing with some cash on top because this thing is built. But hey, we're trading for one. That means we just get to build another third gen, which I can't complain about. All right, so he just took it for a drive here. He's really happy with it. He's in the shop there just doing some paperwork. But we have now got another third gen, which I'm actually going to get right into the shop so the guys can get working on that. I think I have an idea for this one. I kind of miss the uh, massive third gen we had back when we started this shop. So I think we're going to do something a little bit bigger this time. These mega cabs are awesome trucks to build off of, especially this one. It's super, super low miles, no rust. So everything's really, really nice on it and well kept. So while the guys are working on this thing right here, I think we have to go make a delivery, which we don't normally do for vehicles. But uh, you know what? I'm willing to make an exception, considering this thing isn't even a vehicle technically. It is, but it isn't. I bought this kind of apocalypse built side by side a while ago, and uh, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Not as fast as I thought, so we're getting rid of this thing. Well, lucky enough for me, this delivery is right down the road. I probably could have just driven the side by side, but this seemed like more fun right here. Plus, I really needed an excuse to drive that new 2023 Ford. That thing is sweet. All right, run in, grab the check, and we'll be good to go. And I think there might be someone waiting in the shop for us. Not too sure. All right, grab the cash. Yeah, one of my guys texted me there that uh, someone's waiting for me. I guess he has a truck to trade in or to sell to us. I'm not too sure yet. Luckily, we're already back at the dealership. What is that? Maybe an 08 maybe 2010 something like that king ranch hmm that thing's pretty cool all right i just got some info from this guy so yeah king ranch got a ranch hand on it some uh tis wheels just a bit of a work truck nothing too crazy paint still good on it got a couple little aftermarket things on it i think we could do something cool with this let's see what uh he wants to do with it all exactly whether he wants to sell it or trade it not too sure yet all right well we just got this guy hooked up with a pretty much brand new King Ranch F-150, done in the exact same color as his truck. He just wanted to downgrade a bit. He didn't want a big diesel anymore, so he's going with the 150. It's got everything you could ever want done to it. It looks good, drives good. So yeah, I guess we, we got another Ford to build. Getting harder and harder to buy trucks around here. We keep buying up all the good ones. Well, we got the paperwork signed over, and I don't think we're going to build this thing just yet. I can use my backing up skills and squeeze through here. Got it. Anyways, I don't think we're going to build this thing just yet. I got a couple ideas for it. We may need to order some parts. All right, boys, so it's been a couple days here. The guys are still working on the trucks in the shop there, but uh, we have been pretty much cleared out. We've got uh, two more trucks left in the showroom right now. Got the GMC, which we actually have someone to come look at that today. I think they want to buy it. And then this thing, I'm not too sure. I think we have a couple bites on it, but not sure if this one's going to sell right away. But yeah, we've pretty much sold everything in here, which is nuts. I was just working here in the back, and I heard someone pull up. It sounds like a loud truck. What? 
in the heck? Look at that thing. What? Holy smokes. Hey, okay, you can stop revving it. I'm trying to shut the door here. Okay, so I just got the story on this thing. Apparently, this is the guy that's coming to look at the GMC. I had to know more about this. Anyway, it's a 1963 Chevy C20 custom built crew cab because I don't believe they built crew cabs in this year. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain they did not. This is a SEMA truck. It is fully built to the nines. For some reason, it has KG1 forged sticker on it and got, well, not KG1 forged wheels. Anyway, this thing's nuts. I guess he does want to sell it and uh, buy the GMC. So we're kind of going to do a, a trade, but more cash on my end because this thing's worth a lot more than, than the old uh, GMC there. But I could not pass this thing up. I had to buy it. Like, look, look at this. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to buy something like that. This thing is just nuts. So we're going to work out a deal. Anyways, I'm going to get this thing out of here so I can take it for a drive and make sure he likes it. Well, deal's done. We're just going to get some pictures with both of these trucks real quick here and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so with that craziness now out of the way, I got to shut off these lights. I kind of forgot about them. There we go. Anyways, we're going to hook up the crew cab Cummins there to one of our other trailers and just see if the other second gens fit because I want to see if we can run an all second gen setup to LST. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Anyways, we're down to our very last truck in the showroom. I think the guys are going to be done with that third gen today, but uh, last I heard, we got a deposit on that thing, so that should be gone next week, but we're going to try this out here, see if it works. Technically, they should both fit, but... I'm not too sure. All right, we got one on here so far. Ooh, I don't know. That's going to be tight fitting if it does. Okay, truck number two. Let's see. Oh, just barely. Okay, we're going to swap around the truck, see if that works. Okay, so this one's a little higher, so it can kind of sit above the uh, gooseneck part of the trailer. So should work in theory now. Check it out. We fit. The second gen's squatting, but we fit. Yeah, I did not think that was going to work. Oh, man. This is going to be the rig to tow. I just had to make sure everything fit on just beforehand. So we didn't have any issues day of. But this is going to work. We're going to be running an all second gen setup. This is going to be nuts. Man, that's cool. Well, boys, it's been another couple of days here. And uh, the third gen's finally done. Took a little longer than we thought. But uh, yeah. The shop's completely empty. The last truck left early this morning. It's gone. It's out of here. The shop is just, yeah, I haven't seen it this empty in I don't know how long. But luckily for us, we now have another third gen that has been built. And uh, we already had the four link for it, which is why uh, it took not a lot of time to actually do. But when the guys get working on something, they can build... Yeah, some pretty cool stuff. So yeah, we went a little overkill with this one. Um... <laughs> It's got just this ridiculous lift with a four link, of course, painted or I guess powder coated axles, powder coated frame. We took everything down to the frame. We had five guys working on this truck and they just banged it out like it was nothing. Got an axle dump. Well, kind of something like that. Tough wheels. We've been loving this setup with the uh, bogger tires. It just looks really good. We might put something else on this eventually, but for now it's okay. Went with uh, this dark kind of blue, a little bit of chrome in there. The black two-tone, which I think looks really good. Aftermarket grill, fourth or fifth gen, I can't remember. Bumper, rock lights everywhere, starlight headliner. This thing has been done. We might put some spacers on it though. I feel like these wheels aren't quite wide enough. We haven't done anything to the interior yet, but I'm sure we will. For now, this thing's just meant to look pretty. That's about it. I've still got to unload those trucks off that trailer. But I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. Anyways, the shop for the dealership now has another truck back in it. You know, if someone comes here and expects to buy a truck, there, there's nothing here. Unless they want to buy one of these. But uh, yeah, this is not an everyday driver. I will tell you that much. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for builds, put them down in the comments section. Uh, I need to fill the shop back up again. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.